My man Reinhardt was born a Sword Saint. So it sounds like he didn't even earn the title Sword Saint after slaying some sort of dragon that I assume due to the dragon claw marks in the sword that people are saying. Like Elsa said, you were born a Sword Saint. So it's just like, okay, it's in the conceptions. Like Reinhardt as a sperm in, in daddy Reinhardt's ball sack was already like Sword Saint. I, I don't know how that shit works, but he is strong. Stronger than any being in the show, potentially. The Elsa throwing... you Maybe you, uh, you, you'll have seen the uh, ReZero Breakdown part. Bro's got a divine protection that prevents aerial projections. Bro can resurrect once or like a lethal damage and not die. Bro has like sodium detections to see if it's sugar or salt. This guy, if there is some bullshit passive or power, it sounds like Reinhardt has it. And thank God. That we have him as a friend. Now, I don't know what kind of divine protection is going to protect him from Chris Hansen knocking on his door because he kidnapped. He kidnapped. He felt. Hey, you got a you got a family? Any any potential? Pa oh, you're an orphan. Okay, no one's gonna come get you. How old are you? Fifteen? A little bit on the older side, but okay. I I think we can work with that. He nabbed felt. Fucked up a rom G seller. Probably ain't paying for that shit. Now what's gonna happen? My guess right now, based on the other ReZero analysis videos I've made, is that if Amelia is a chosen one because the pendant or the uh, insignia glows red in the center when a chosen one holds it, then simply felt is also the same kind. And I think Reinhardt realized that there's a potential candidate. But what is the chosen one for exactly? That's the part I'm not so sure yet. Because like right now, there's political unrest, potential succession wars, and I don't know if there's an emperor or a king or a crown princes or princesses. So potentially it could be chosen ones for the next for the throne, chosen one for different types of, I don't know, important roles. I'm not sure, but hey, let's see what's going to happen in today's reaction. So if he... Do you think that the checkpoint has changed now? No more Appa Man? I'm gonna be sad if we don't see Apple Man again, but like, I feel like because we have overcome Elsa, like, this could potentially be the new checkpoint, right? We'll have to die and find out. It's a fancy ass place. It's probably Amelia's place, right? She dragged them here. Is it? Damn, this place is bougie. Look at this mansion. It's probably the mansion at the top of the mountain in the whole kingdom. Dude, imagine. <laughs> Imagine last episode at the end after all that shit and he does <laughs> Oriwa Natsuki Subaru Okay name and then he dies and then we have to restart again he's like oh fuck Well he's gonna get closer and closer and now he would know how to call Reinhardt over and I already metagame it but like oh my god imagine all that progress just lost Usually but I don't think Emilio's really like that <laughs> This is an endless hallway Yo, that painting we already saw. We already saw that painting before. Alright. Oh, drill lolly! Finally! Hello. First NPC found! The drill lolly acquired! <laughs> that is so rude. <laughs> that is so fucking it's different from when I say NPC, because like these are actual characters in this show that he's interacting with. But <laughs> alright, first NPC acquired. <laughs> I guess she's cute, yeah? As in this room? Like, as in, like... He, like, she's mad that, like, he picked the room correctly first? Are you mad because I guessed right on my first try? Because he did just open it and it was like, boom, it was there. So you mean, like, this room is, like, what, hidden? What are you, what are you saying? This isn't, like, what is the implication here? Because, like, he said it's a looping hallway and he needs to find the exit and he found this room specifically, right? So, luck? I don't know. Okay. She's getting pissed off. Some sort of library. Library and What's your name? Betty. Betty. Alright, she's her name is Betty. Yo, Betty, fuck him up. He's being rude. Imagine she kills him here. <laughs> and we spawn in front of Appa guy. I don't know. We'll have to see. Did we arrive at a checkpoint? I hope so. <laughs> Oh, he's actually crying of the pain. Dude, those are tears of pain there. Holy shit, Betty. That was, that was, 
I know he was being a rude asshole, but like, damn. <laughs> Collect the mana. She sucked this mana. Okay. Hell no, she's not. Damn, did not measure a... Pra... And remember, anytime I see the word proud, bro, I'm gonna point that shit out. Like, prideful, proud. Yeah, he did say drill early. Obviously, he's like, I mean, he, he said token lines. He's very astute with like the cliches, the tropes that he's seen in anime and manga, right? I mean, we saw that in the corner shop when he was reading the shoujo manga, seeing the relationship part. And like, this is the part that's gonna happen, but all right. Also, this library. Is this the same as, like, Cardinal's library? I'm not really asking for an answer. It's just because we just watched SAO. And season three, Arisization, what is the Cardinal's library? It's supposed to be, like, this hidden library, right? Like, a different fucking domain. Like, a different fucking dimension entirely. If the reason that... Subaru literally found this place while going through the infinite, like, loop, right? So, like... I mean, a fucking different dimension library is one of the most common tropes as well, too. So, like, I could believe it. Ningen, she says. What is she? What is Betty then? Betty's a lolly. Her ear is not long enough to be an elf. Is she a dwarf? No, there's no way she's a dwarf. I... I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out later. Betty has a nice design though. She's very cute. Wait! Did we pass out or is this a respawn? Did Betty literally kill Subaru there? I can't tell. Because, like, he could have passed out, then Betty could have dragged us out to the bed. I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. A ceiling I'm not familiar with. Right. Because before he wasn't. But now he is. Because, you know. Oh. Mates? Blue, blue red mates? These maids are roasting us if these are the maids. <laughs> My, what a dead pee thing to say. You're not wrong! We are a complete fucking unemployed neat loser right now. Hey, Sister. Truly a loser's <laughs> word. <laughs> oh, hello! Finally! There is the maid. And, oh my god. There's gonna be people. Probably in chat as well. I'm gonna make fun of you right now if you say who is that because you're so fucking stupid, bro. The amount of people that think they're funny. <laughs> oh, who's the blue haired girl? Oh, he thinks it's a cat girl, bro. Has no idea. <laughs> I think I'm so funny and I'm gonna get internet points. <laughs> it's like you're so fucking stupid. You're so retarded. I have to act like I don't know to make it seem like I'm putting on a performance for the first time because you retards don't know what a fucking indirect spoiler is. Like, genuinely. Like, the average intelligence of the people watching this shit is so fucking low that you're like, oh, I'm in on the joke, no one else is <laughs> You're like the 37th person repeating the same shit. It's been eight years. Eight fucking years, and you're still doing it. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like, I feel like Red Girl. I am going to go out of my way to be more biased towards the Red Girl. For the, okay, <laughs> the poll, the character poll in my community post, Ram, I think that her name is Ram, right? This is Ram and Rem, right? I, Ram is like fucking, <laughs> like last place. It's, it's Rem and then Amelia. Rem is at like 60% or 50%. Then Amelia is like 30% or something. Then it's Betty and then it's Ram at like five. And then like, what the fuck? What did the red hair maid do? Maybe she's a fucking demon. Maybe she's like Rachel, bro, from Tower of God. Who knows? The only prey right now is Felt in Reinhardt's place. He ain't beating the allegations, but they're pretty funny so far, huh? Both the maids, they're just shit talking immediately. They're not. Really polite towards Subaru. They're like, what a deadbeat. Yeah, what a fucking loser. Ooh, Amelia in pajamas? Oh my god, different outfit. Yeah, different outfit. Different hairstyle too. <laughs> stop, stop. 
<laughs> and we already honestly we are never getting back to the first iteration that first run with you know satella was like the perfect run in terms of getting affection points if you're gonna treat this like a fucking visual novel rom game you know like rem is already throwing us under the fucking bus right now we're like it's we're cooked we're never gonna get back to the first run bro that was the fucking golden run oh they like finish each other's sentences and talk on behalf of each other like twin mates very cute <laughs> Emilia-tan? Nickname? Nickname. Is it like, I'm not Japanese, obviously. Right? But like, in like Japanese culture, saying something tan, it's basically like uh, cute nicknames, right? But if you were to, like, take it from a perspective where like, it may sound cringe, where you say this shit here and because she doesn't know what that is, but he's the only one saying it. So isn't this like super cringe right now? What he's saying? Like, he's saying Emilia Tan, but like, she doesn't know. And he's like, yes, I, I said my fucking otaku nickname shit. And it's like, yeah, I got it. Yes. And that's the craziest thing about this run, right? The fucking craziest thing about this run is that we don't even know her. She, I mean, sorry, she doesn't even know us. That first couple episodes, none of that shit fucking got happened. Remember, all that shit got erased. And we just showed up at the cellar, and we start acting like we know her. I'm still fucking mad that Puck is not gonna confront us about how he knows, you know, how we know his name. In the break time, Puck was like, oh yeah! And Emilia, in break time episode 2 or 3, right? In the Reinhardt episode. Emilia was like, wasn't it strange that, like, he knew your name immediately, Puck, about the 9 to 5? And Puck was like, ha ha ha, yeah, about that. Anyways, I'm like, hell, am I crazy? Anyone, it, it, it's, it's like they're they're clearly trying to hide that shit. But whatever relationship, Subaru is good with spirits, right? It was already told that Subaru is like very good with spirits. So, I don't know. The, the, the regression shit, I think Puck is very aware right now. Alright, what are we doing today? Bro, this is just at the front yard. Who owns this mansion, bro? What the fuck kind of being lives here, bro? Because, like, Amelia's broke. Betty is in the library. We have the maids. <laughs> some, some rich motherfucker lives here, and we're just here. Nice. Look at the garden, dude! This is where they had break time, right? This little place in the garden is where they had break time episode 3. Stretching. Radio exercises. That's like a very common thing in Japan, right? In the morning, some guy is out there with like a fucking radio thing and they play it and everyone gathers and they do the fucking radio like choreography uh, exercises. <laughs> this is very cute. Yeah, the bouncing up and down part, I kind of wish that Amelia was going to try to do it. <laughs> I thought Subaru was baiting just to see them fucking honk or shake or some shit, but... Okay, we're happy. Wait, no, no! What do I say about slice of life moments, guys? What do I always say about slice of life moments? What are they? They they get you out of nowhere. They 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 lure you into this false sense of cute and happy times, and you're like, oh wow, we're getting so along together. And then really depressing shit happens, and remember the slice of life moment, and you're like, no, how could this be? The stretching. I don't feel good about this, man. Betty wants to stretch. Victory. 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 Very cute. Hello, Puck. Sweat of passion? Puck, go to bed. Why do we have Puck awake 9 to 5? All the fucking important shit happens after 5 p.m. Why is he awake during the time we don't need his ass? Then the moment we need him, he's like, Oh, I'm going back into my thing. You know, you break the auto if you want to fucking do that thing. It's like... Just go away! I will call you for your 8 hour shift when you need it! What the fuck? What's that mean? You're a connoisseur of what? Fine fur like myself? Is he a furry? 
Tsubota has a fucking fursuit back at home. Very cute. <laughs> I can kind of read your mind, so I know you feel that way. I can kind of read your mind? So again, the regression shit, like, she, he must know. He know, but we're not saying anything about it. Liatan. Oh, you heard that shit? Because of how well you interact with Puck there? You really are strange, Subaru. That seemed like a very interesting line. Because Subaru and Puck is interacting so nicely and casually. You really are strange, Subaru. I mean, honestly, if you were Amelia, just think about it from your perspective as someone that doesn't know he can regress. He just shows up. Just fucking saves you. Just hangs out with Puck so nicely. He's been saying a lot of weird ass shit too. Like everything about him is very suspicious. Like straight up. Even like how Felt and like Romji was like, you set me up. Like it's very interesting how like in regression shit, uh, you would think it'd be so easy because you have all the answers of what's going to happen next. But the interesting scenario is if you say that shit, people will confront you and be like, how do you know that? Then they get suspicious, you know? <laughs> Subaru is very good with spirits. Maids. Synchronized. Okay, Rosewater-sama has returned. Our lord. The lord of the mansion. The landlord is here. Who could he be? Maybe it's a girl. Lolly, I suppose that word means nothing good. You got no idea, girl. You, you don't want to know. You search your name up in certain sites, we going to fucking jail, all right? I am nope, not getting involved in that shit. Don't let Reinhardt find Betty. <laughs> Betty's weakness is Puck. Bubby. Okay, I mean, she, Puck is super cute. Okay, I, I can see it. She looks really cute cats. Yeah, what did he say though? Like the the word Bubby is very interesting with like Nita or something. What do he say? It, it sounds weird. It isn't. It, it sounds like Cha. Nita. Well, the Nita just just make some connections in your head, and you know, cat, this girl, Nita, Bubby. Hmm. I'll, I'll I'll keep a mental note of that. Beatrice is her full name. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. No matter what anime gets pulled, no matter what anime we watch, he's gonna be there. He's gonna fucking be there, dude. Let's go! Okay, I'm gonna assume that's Rosewall. Rosewall and Betty does not get along, huh? There's some banter there. This run is ruined. This run is ruined. Yeah, just kill yourself right now. If this is who I think it is, and it's actually the owner of the mansion, and you call him a clown. <laughs> Why is he so stupid? Why is he so prideful? I don't know. The cr bro, come on! Come on, bro! A clown? This might be one of Dio's voice actor that, like, the voice acting is even better. The way he's pronouncing words, man, like, holy shit. Like, this version of Dio, I, I should say my actual name, but like, you know, as Dio's voice acting is my thing well known, like, this is fucking amazing performance already. Also, oh. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could have seen, I, yeah, I mean, if, if you got the clown makeup on, uh, I, I could see it. I, I could see it, but, what'd you say? Emilia Sama. Roswell shows that much respect to Emilia, despite being the man owner of the mansion, because she's a chosen one? Sama, okay. Roswell L. Mathers. L. Mathers. Natsuki Subaru-kun? 
普通以上にうめえな。こう見えて、<笑>レムの料理はちょっとしたものだ。の、ブルーヘアグロースクリーム。レムちゃんでいいのか。が作った。作っています。オッケー。姉様は料理があまり得意ではないので。オッケー。双子で得意スキルが得意な感じ。はい、そうです。Right. 姉様は掃除。理系得意だけど掃除と洗濯は苦手か。い,いえ、レムは基本的に勝ち。She is rank one mate, I guess. She's just better than Ram at everything. Is that why the polls are so swayed in one favor? Yeah, why is she here? Yeah, what, what, what the fuck is going on here right now? I'm also sorry. We're gonna have to a little technical difficulty. Hold up, hold up. You, you ready for some, you ready for some English dub moments? I'm generally good at all household tasks. Oh. I'm also better at... Seriously? Yeah? Does your sister even have a... What does Roswell sound like, actually? What does Roswell's voice actor sound like? Like, you can, like, can it compete with Dio's voice actor? Let's see. Just said bewildered on well, to see you here, Beatrice. Okay. I'm, I'm so trying. happy you're dining with I'm good. Yeah, he's, he's kind of trying. He's kind of trying. Is actually oh, no, it's quite all right, Miss Amelia. I'll handle the introductions. What's going on? Order oh, this manner. Your acquaintance. Natsuki Subaru. Subaru Natsuki, right. Okay. But, but you know, I'm, I'm going to prefer the obviously the fucking Japanese dub over because it's fucking legendary performance by Dio's voice actor, bro. It's just legendary fucking performance. All right. Great to see you. So, Lemurin is good at all household tasks, but sleeping is mostly good at cleaning. Okay. 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 And this is Kingdom of Lugunica, but we're in the capital city, and we're, this is the mansion at the very top, right? But like, he doesn't know anything, right? But I guess it, it is, I mean, he is ignorant because he's from somewhere else, but claim total ignorance of the state of affairs here. Oh, we don't know anything. Tell us what's going on, like the politics. No king! What happened to the last king? So that's why there's political unrest. That's why everyone is trying to find their own like chosen ones through the insignia. Right? And that's why Amelia what so like is Amelia right now backed by Mather's Margrave? And like Reinhardt is basically the Roswell if Amelia is felt that way. And everyone's trying to like go for the throne right now. And the insignia is like the chosen one if it glows in the red, right? Oh, look at that shit. Look at, look at Puck lick, you know, Betty's food. Oh, it's so cute. Joe and I get higher than my young man, and she died. Yeah, Gen Joe, Kuni no Ue, what do you look for? No, 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 yeah, isn't that like super suspicious? Like you just immediately latch on to a fucking like a succession throne like candidate right now? Wouldn't they fucking think that he's like a liability? Like like we're treating this as a joke right now, but what is he actually thinking? Right? Everything is happy and fine right now, but like what is Roswell actually thinking about Subaru? <laughs> Insignia! Higher status than Margrave. Candidate for the royal... Yes. 42nd ruler of the kingdom of Lugunica. This entire plot is around a succession war. Okay, 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 okay. And like, who... What other candidates, potential candidates are there? Well, Delt is. That means we have to go against Reinhard? Doesn't that mean we already lost? Like... I don't know how strong Roswell is, but like, I don't, I, maybe we should let him cook, but like, are, aren't we already cooked? <laughs> aren't we already, isn't, isn't the battle over before it started? If, if, if our opposition is Reinhardt, I, I mean, Sponsor, got it. <laughs> yep. A touchstone. Determining if one is worthy of the throne. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Oh, Fel stole it. 
一緒だどうなっちゃうの役所で再発行とかできんのまあないだろうね国を任せられないって思われればそれでおおしまい bad news. 改め So let's think about that, right? Now we know what the insignia actually is. It's to determine a chosen one. And I guess everyone has their own like insignia, right? And what does that mean? Because Elsa was hired by someone else. And that's the point. Elsa hired Felt to steal it. But whoever is backing Elsa did not want Amelia's claim to the throne. You know what I mean? So like, wonder what that faction is. Who hired Elsa? to then get the insignia away from Amelia. There's like an anti amelia faction. Is it a random hit? Is it a specific hit? I'm not sure, but that's what it's alluding to right now, right? <laughs> he did clutch. <laughs> What's that hand doing? <laughs> What should we wish for? Honestly, I, I have no idea. Right now, we are pretty much homeless. We have no ways of income. Should we just ask him for all the fucking money in the world? All the fucking power in the world? I don't know. What is he gonna ask for? No one's super. It's gonna be something cringe. Yeah. Plus one job, boys! We gonna be a fucking butler now? All right. It's time to work with the fucking twin maids and they're gonna fucking roast our ass and we're gonna be a butler. W employment plus one job. Bro, in the state of this job market and economy, you should be lucky to have a fucking job, bro. Let's go. <clears throat> That's silence. That fucking silence. <laughs> this is not fit at all. You didn't even bother saying his name correctly there. You, you, you went from Okakusama to like, I mean, Subaru. Barusu? Balls? Balls? Barusu. Oh, is that the shit that they do in like, uh, Dangers in My Heart? What's Yamada? Dayama. What's Bayashi? Bayashi car. It, it's basically taking the last fucking word and putting it to front to sound cute or some shit, right? レム、ブザマなバルスの姿を見て気づくことは、の足が短いことと目つきが怖い。いい箇所入ってきた。こんなに素敵な。ここで働かせておくなんてできない疑われるから、上着だけでも直す。カスンテイラー。お願い。こと
What is Betty hiding from, potentially? I don't know. How? He just knows. Because of, I mean, if, if Beatrice calls Puck, who is a spirit, Nietzsche-chan, and Subaru is good with spirits, <laughs> I'm grasping for straws right now, guys. It's either dumb luck or there must be some other reasons, and the only thing I can consider right now is Puck, Spirit, Subaru, Nichan. Boy, ne, Subaru! She really hates him, huh? Forbidden Library. Roswell Sama is the greatest magic user in the king. Oh! If Reinhardt is Sword Saint, then Roswell is the greatest magic user in the kingdom. No one in the kingdom of Lugunica surpasses Roswell in magic. That is pretty, pretty, like, significantly strong, like, lore, right? <laughs> Forbidden books were hiding. <laughs> Got it. He hiding that lolly shit, bro. All that lolly doujins, bro, it's in this library. They hide in that shit. Don't let Reinhardt find the library either. <laughs> Ignored. Come on, balls. Jesus, that's a lot. Actually, yeah, I just realized. Like, imagine being, like, having to clean up and, like, maintain mansions like this. Like, do you understand, like, like, maintain? Just like trimming the garden, like cleaning all the rooms of sheets, dishes, like this is a fucking nightmare. And like what? There's only like what? Like five motherfuckers that lives here? What, you, why do you need a whole ass mansion for? Like this is just flexing for no reason. And you would think there'd be some cleaning magic. Thanks for letting me know. You shouldn't have said that. What the fuck was that? Oh, new drip, new drip. Yes. <laughs> for Roswell, Sama's, you know, clothing, it needs to be perfect for you. I, I just half-assed it. Take it. New drip. Finally out of the fucking tracksuit. Is that a compliment? No one in any kind of strange garment could rival you. Under the heavens, I am alone. I alone am the fucking strange one. Yo! He's got sewing skills? Where'd he learn this from? Home classroom ed? Like at Japanese high school? They're, the fact that they're, they're coming off with these insults, ad lib improv. They didn't script this shit. I know that the author fucking scripted this and they're fucking reading the lines, but like, in the context of an anime, this blue girl is just like, <laughs> very much like you, however, I feel to see how that's useful. <laughs> wonder where he learned how to sew, bro? Wonder, weren't the repairing his furry suits? Good call. That's right, Subaru. Barusu is a furry. He's got a fur suit and uh, he, he sews that shit. They're so nice against each other. <laughs> I pity the farmer who grew those vegetables. These poor potatoes being wasted at your hands. <laughs> Teach me. Yep. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Stop it. Why are you moving the knife? Your finger is right by the knife. What did she say? Have the knife still move the potato. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> what was that? Did she just break the fourth wall? Did, did, did Ram just break the fourth wall there? He's like, huh, this dumbass is cleaning the fucking bathhouse instead of me. Nice. I'm getting kind of worried, guys. I'm getting worried. You know why I'm getting worried? The sheer amount of slice of life elements happening in today's episode. We're building up towards something bad. Something really bad's gonna happen. And all these cute and wholesome funny moments is gonna come back to haunt me when the bad moment happens. <laughs> and I actually am liking the maids. Like, I don't know, I don't know who I like more right now between Ram and Rem. They're both funny. 
I can't really dis distinguish these two right now. Their personality seems to be similar. So I, I don't really, I can't, I can't like separate the two, but it's only been one episode. Let's let him cook. Oh, the underwear. <laughs> he sucks at everything. Mm -hmm. Roswell not being the allegations either. Everyone's a lolicon here. <laughs> I don't think Ram is a lolicon. <laughs> is she on his lap right now? Uh, she is! He's giving her a head pat! Uh, who am I to judge a professional relationship, but this definitely does not look like a professional relationship. <sighs> what did Roswell say? It's been five days since Subaru came to the mansion. How has he been? By now, he should be, we should be seeing something. So they're being cautious of... Subaru, right? They're being very cautious of Subaru and being like, because he's, he is suspicious, right? So they're trying to see if he slips up to see if he's like a spy or something. But, but what, is, what is he good at? Okay. He is too weird, man. What was the hand movement? Or did you just gesture to cut his head off? And if he is too conspicuous, then what, what is this? Am I misreading this right now? Is Roswell saying cut his head off? Okay. They are only children? We don't know how old Ram really is, and I don't want spoilers in chat either, but interesting. That's how she sees them. Okay, I mean, we're based. Subaru has no clue, huh? Subaru has no clue, and he's just fucking around thinking he's having a fun time being a butler, but like he's literally being like monitored carefully. If he slips up, it's bad. More spirit training for Amelia? He just like staring at you. They are risking us Is the Riz working or what? I can't tell. Yeah, even the rewards that he's choosing, right? Yeah, because at the end of the day, he just wants to be close with Amelia, right? The whole thing of being a butler is to be close with Amelia, knowing her name. The, all the rewards, it's just been just to get closer to this half-elf girl because he is simping for her so hard. あの時、俺は君の名前が知りたかったって。多分落ち着いて考えたら欲しがらなきゃいいもん。でも、俺は自分に嘘はつかない男だ。ロズッチへの頼みも同じさ。別の一文なし。大金せ。But the craziest thing is like she's probably still thinking like why would you still care about me like that? Cuz he is literally going through the memories of all the different fucking failed runs and remembering what kind of girl she is and wanting to save her no matter what. And he's she's probably like you're weird, bro. I've not known you for like one time to saw you at the fucking loose like you asked me for my name and now you're my fucking butler? Doesn't this seem like the fucking stalkish behavior of like a tier 4 fucking sub of Pokemon right now? Does it like if try to really think from her perspective, right? Not from Subaru's perspective, not from our audience. Like try to think about from her perspective. And it's just like this random dude shows out of nowhere and is trying to get so close to me. I'd be kind of weirded out. He does need a job though. But you could have asked for money. Yeah, you could have done that. <laughs> Didn't even think about that. We don't even. She. We fucked that one up. Alright, I'm. <laughs> and then the next one Roswell. Permanent guest, please. Easy. That's what I do right now. Just. Just let's let's redo this. Let's redo this. The injuries. No? These scars are proof that I fucking fucking suck at peeling potatoes. No no no, it's it's battle wounds, man. These are battle wounds. So <laughs> That's better though. Hold up. He said silly man. 
Silly man, right? Not, not, not silly boy. She sees us as a man now? I, that, that's better. Because she fucking like sun zoned us before. <laughs> the dramatic petals. The dramatic is is this Riz happening right now? I still can't tell. Are we are we working our charms? Is the cringe charms working? Maybe. What? EMT? Alright. Potato. A little animal? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> it wasn't the result. No, no, hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. We went to what? And this happened evening when I went to shop. I don't remember that. But uh, apparently they went into town. And an animal and some kids were playing that with bit me. What the fuck? I don't remember that. Random retcon scene? Oh, okay. No, 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 we still kind of suck. Fuck them, kids. Revenge. <laughs> Revenge on the kids. Fuck them. Bring Puck when he's on shift. I need Puck at full strength at 9 to 5 area. We gonna go there and fuck them kids up. There's a problem if we're seen together? Because of the elf prejudice? Hmm. Alright, is that a date? Yo, is that a date? Date acquired? Hey, Loriko! He just casually finds a room again. He doesn't he just too good with this shit. Yeah, he can. Yeah, boing, boing, boing. Yo, I want to take those drills and go like this. Boing, boing, boing. Like fucking Springer thing. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Bye. I suppose Betty doesn't have any part in that. Why do you look so sad? You're not invited to the date? I don't know, but Betty is sad. Betty says she doesn't have any part in that. And I don't know what that is right now. Is Roswell about to cut her head off? Because he, he, did, he did do this. Is Roswell about to come and cut her head off right now for calling us a clown and calling him a clown and fucking shit up here? One puck, two puck, three puck, 101 pucks! This is not our bed. This is the fucking intro scene. Did we literally re loop there? Did we literally loop that? That's the intro scene where he says this is- Well, we can be a permanent guest now! Wow! Let's go! We can be a permanent guest now! Fuck being a butler, bro! Fuck that bullshit! We gonna be a lazy moocher! Let's go! Oh boy. Bro. Bro, where's the cuts on your fingers? You dead! You dead! The happy Roswell Mansion family, my ass, bro! What the fuck happened? What could have happened? I don't know. The closest thing I can really guess right now is like Roswell, right? Because like Roswell sees Subaru as a potential spy and he's like, you know what? <laughs> like the way that he, he, his hand was literally just suggesting like cut the head off. So clearly he died in sleep. How did he die? I'm not sure. I'm going to assume that Roswell is involved with it. But other than that, today's episode, even though nothing fucking happened, this is an hour long reaction already. I'm fucking so sorry. We did so much yapping. Today's episode was fantastic in terms of just like slice of life and lore and world building what do we know well we know finally that this is the mansion of roswell l mathers roswell is the strongest mage in the kingdom of the dragon lugunica uh betty has a hidden library that hides all of roswell's lolicon stuff uh rem and ram are maids that are just roasting subaru Emilia is obviously a succession candidate for the throne, and that's what the insignia was doing. So just like Roswell is the sponsor for Emilia, I'm assuming Reinhardt is most likely going to be the sponsor for Felt, unless Reinhardt is bringing Felt into authorities and someone else will pick, you know, Felt up. That sounds weird. 
But other than that, that's pretty much it, right? And a bunch of slice of life moments and hanging out with the girls. But again, the thing about this shit is like how every time we make all this progress, the data is gone now. All that Riz that we did with Amelia, this is gone. All the fucking moments that we shared, again, is fucking forgotten. And Subaru has yet to been really upset by these things yet, but we're only in like episode 4. I wonder if they're ever going to go into the psyches of like everyone continuously like forgetting him. Because like right now he's still acting casual and just acting as if other people even remember the other you know, speed runs. But so far he's just pretty casual about it, so we'll let him cook right now. Not really sure what happened with the death there, but no more date. But hey, this time we can be a permanent guest and that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.